wonderful people, it's Enya, and let's just start by me apologizing for not posting in nine months. Like, whoa, what the heck, that's a really long time. But I'm back for spring break vids, so yeah, here's watercolor nebulas using Crayola markers, and whoop, let's go. So most people will probably just draw a circle freehandedly or like on the paper, but because I want it to be like somewhat perfect, I'm just going to search up circle, save it, move it onto a page document, and then print it out. So once I printed it out, I just cut out the circle and placed it on my paper, which is obviously a watercolor paper because do not use normal printer paper to do watercolor because it will rip into like 500 pieces. But um, now I'm just marking out where I want each circle to be and then I'm tracing around my template sort of, which is what I just printed out. So now I'm gonna use washi tape and just add bits to the outside of the circle so that when I actually start the watercolor it wouldn't be too messy and the circle would still be somewhat perfect so yeah so now I'm gonna start the watercolor portion of this drawing and so basically I'm first gonna show you how normal watercolor would show up and then I'll make and then I'll make a contrast between normal watercolor and marker so yeah so here's the normal watercolor and as you can see the colors are blending pretty well together but sometimes it's just not enough you know so now moving on to markers and the markers I'm using are the Crayola super tips which are actually really cheap and they're usually like six bucks at Target I think so I'm just gonna scribble random areas with color and I'm gonna make like the colors like somewhat close together so that when it mixes up it's not gonna turn into a huge mess of like brown so yeah and then I'm just gonna add water and then I'm gonna smear these colors together so they could create an ombre sort of but then the thing is about marker and water is once it dries it will leave like a little print around where the smearing and whatever you did stopped so it will be like a little border of like darker color and I feel like it looks really cool because it adds on to the layering but I'm just gonna do this again with the next nebula and I feel like this nebula is actually prettier because my colors are prettier but anyway um, I'm just going over with marker I used four different shades of color and it still turned out to have a very large variety of colors so what I feel like is the easiest method of smearing the colors together is just taking a lot of water onto your brush and then making like a droplet of water fall onto your paper and then using the fat side of your paintbrush and sort of just like spreading it out. It will create a very nice effect and yeah, it looks really cool. So once all the water and color has dried, now I'm going on with the second layer. For the second layer on the first one, since I use normal watercolor and I want it to make it look sort of like the other two nebulas where I used marker, now I'm just going with darker colors and doing exactly what I did before, like putting on droplets and then spreading it out. And I'm just doing that to all the other nebulas and I'm just adding color to places where I think is probably lacking a bit of color or places where the colors like too evenly spread out that it doesn't look really good anymore, I guess, but um, I'm just adding color where I think I need it to be, and that's basically how I did it. So now here's the satisfying part, and this is when you finally get to peel off your wash tape to reveal your perfect circle and your really nice nebula you just made. So now I am just peeling off the washi tape slowly and even though when I peeled it off it wasn't as perfect and there were still some marks because when I added it on I probably wasn't careful enough but it still turned out to look really good so I'm still pretty proud. Now I'm just gonna use a white pen and for this one I used a white jelly roll and the link to jelly rolls will be down in the description below and for this pen I'm just adding small dots and big dots on my nebulas and I'm also adding some stars and like these weird plus sign things which are also supposed to be stars but you know that's how people draw them now so yeah I'm just gonna add those items onto the nebula and I'm doing that with all three and the thing is you don't need to make these like all the same and it's better to have them different sizes 
so that some can pop out more than the others. Now, after you're done drawing all the circles and dots and stars, you are finished with your nebula, and there will be three of them, so you can always use these as a card to a friend, or just like a simple decoration to put up in your room, and so yeah, I think it looks pretty nice.